today we are able to at least get out of town <laughs> just like a, well, going to like a, a just a couple of hours drive from um, from um, southern Indiana of course so we're heading north about two hours away and of course it's a little bit more of a, um, what should we call it the, the drive is a lot more of a like cornfield a soybean field it's more on the rural area so we are also going to stop by there is like a farm a farm or like fruit stand on the way so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're just kind of looking for those area you know that we can uh, get some of the like local fruits and things like that fruits vegetables and I think we are going to if it's on our way also we're going to that a butcher shop they have some nice butcher shop on the north side and uh, up north or going north of uh, southern Indiana so actually on our way also I think we were able to there's a big uh, a car manufacturing company in this area and it's called Toyota where is it it's up in how long how far we are it's like close. okay in five minutes guys we're gonna just show you here quickly so here is the uh, veterinarian the place region that's free. You gotta drive all the way up there, but that. Oh, oh really? Yeah, well, no, see where all the cars are at. Uh huh. That's the veterinarian. Oh, this is uh, a uh, vet's office. It's free. Wow, that's why there's a lot of people yeah. in there for free. Cause yeah, it, it get expensive. Fort oh, Fort Branch. Branch. Okay. This is where I turn to go to work right here. So yeah, uh, actually, guys, uh, this time this week or in the next two or three weeks my husband is actually working at this Toyota manufacturing car manufacturing uh, companies like uh, they <laughs> they build cars you know it's a Toyota uh, most of their uh, <clears throat> excuse me product is of course Toyota so my husband will be working here for a while and but anyway it's a kind of bit a little bit of a long drive for our house from our house it's like uh what for huh 25 30 minutes something like that so so anyway so that's what exactly what the scenery of uh going to my husband's uh, workplace here in toyota and then we probably will able to get some of the view here too what did it say that thing that it says where what is that a water in gibson. gibson water i don't know if you guys where that's the plant okay that's the plant oh yeah uh oh it's gonna cover there now you can you guys can see a little bit bigger picture of that there you go guys i don't know yeah there you go it's kind of like it's hard to capture but that's yeah that's the plant toyota plant right there in Princeton. Sorry about that guys, you probably kind of get dizzy from all that moving objects on the side. And I don't normally do it very long either, but for that reason I get dizzy. So yep, that's pretty much one of the uh, one of the scenery here going north of uh, southern Indiana. So anyway, uh, Indiana is kind of pretty much a uh, flat land. And most of the uh, things that we grow or you know we grow in Indiana is corn, soybeans and what else that's like that's the main commodity uh, uh, produce of a product of Indiana corn and this corn it's kind of like it's not like the corn that we eat every day or every day you know but it's kind of like corn so that um, um, they make it as part or how do I say I, I cannot even explain it it's kind of like for for they kind of pro they go they process all this corn and stuff like that to for animal feeds so and even the soybeans are like that so that's how that is why um, uh, all most of the most of the products produced here is corn and soybeans and so it's kind of like I said it's out almost like they said out in the boondocks but not necessarily it's just like on the highway you cannot like you know crisscross into street into trees and 
and you know on farmlands and things like that but there's always like businesses along the side road as well and little towns that is that's corn right there it's kind of late in it no good yet i'm sorry okay that's not too too. that's not too late yeah that's uh, corn. september and yeah you and know there's that what every that? other year usually they grow corn and then the next year they grow beans yeah they alternate it yeah. Because they cannot have, they cannot. Some farmers plant, do that, some don't. You cannot uh, plant Hazel corn in the same, right yeah, the same crop every year over and over. So they alternate it to have, so that they can get a uh, good produce. Or, or what do you call So, anyway, guys, we are actually driving on Highway 41 North. So, here's the corn right here. There, see? Uh, that's right. Is that corn or it's kind of like, yeah, it is corn. I, it kind of looks like uh, beans as well. Okay, it's so this one here. This coming up here, that's, that is beans. So, yeah, they alternate it to be able to get a, a good a good harvest during harvest time. Otherwise, they I guess it's kind of like the ground will go stale. <laughs> that's my word. I'm not a farmer, of course. <laughs> Guys, these orange barrels here, I'm just gonna, they have a, of course, a, a road work here. And so this reminds me, one day we went to, well, we were, we good, we went down to golf shores down south, you know, and it was my turn to drive. <laughs> and this orange barrels, it's kinda, I feel like it is narrowing, it's kinda suffocating me, so, I have my hand on uh, both hands on the wheel sweating my palms my palms are sweating because and then I was kind of like plastered my face almost too <laughs> and they uh, on the steering wheel because I was thinking oh the, the the road is narrowing and it's either the next car behind me or in front in front of me will kind of like you know, I'll, I'll, they'll hit me in the back of, uh, you know, the vehicle uh, behind me will kind of hit me and then I feel like I will hit the vehicle in front of me too. So, yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my uh, experience with these orange barrels, guys. Um, I'm scared of them pretty much. That's my, that's my horror. <laughs> that's my horror story. And I don't like orange barrels or, or road work, you know, when they put like a big, uh, long, or at all median so anyway I was talking about the uh, the uh, tall median like in the middle of the highway that really kind of scares me too but nevertheless I made through it and those are the things that um, I really kind of have to work on it and I have been I've been okay since then but it's just like the orange barrels reminds me again again of what <laughs> used to be my fear but now I can drive on the highway without with the median and I'm good I don't sweat my pumps no more and I am not scared of anything you know pretty much so I got my confidence from uh, my husband letting me do it he always says you can do it you can do it so <laughs> so like I said I'm just sharing one of my one of my fears guys when driving on a highway or an interstate so I guess I'm gonna show you guys some more of the fields here on the uh, along Highway 41. This is like the view when uh, driving Highway 41, and uh, at least they're kind of like in between the. There's like a uh, there's like a, a town, little towns on the side. 